Welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect. We just beat Benezia, and now we have to decide what we're going to do with the Rachni Queen located in the tank. This is another episode that's going to involve a lot of dialogue, so I won't be talking a whole hell of a lot through it. I'll make a couple comments here and there. This one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. They have really cryptic ways of speaking, I guess. Who am I speaking to here? We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. How are you speaking through her? Our kind sing through touchings of thought. We pluck the strings and the other understands. She is weak to urging. She has colors we have no names for, but she is ending. Her music is bittersweet. It is beautiful. You are not in harmony with those who hoped to control us. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? The Rachni were a threat to the galaxy. Those tanks are filled with acid. If she gets out of hand, they dissolve her. They made a mistake. They let the Krogan go too far. This is a chance for us to atone. She has done nothing to us. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us. Or return our people to the silence of memory. If I let you live, would you attack other races again? No, we... I do not know what happened in the war. We only heard discordance, songs the color of oily shadows. We would seek a hidden place to teach our children harmony. If they understand, perhaps we would return. You could have calmed them if I hadn't set off the purge? No. Our minds are not as yours. We can only learn to sing in harmony. Without a mother, children are lost to silence. You should not sing of them in grey and violet. We would have still them ourselves. Are you a survivor from the war? A clone? We do not know. We were only an egg, hearing Mother cry in our dreams. A tone from space hushed one voice after another. It forced the singers to resonate with its own sour yellow note. Then we awoke in this place, the last echo of those who came out from the singing planet. The sky is silent. I'm not going to kill them this time through. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. You will give us the chance to compose anew? We will remember. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children. Yeah, the reason why I'm not going to kill them is this time anyway. It's because I'm thinking about doing it the way that a lot of these decisions I'm making them in the way that I probably would if I were in this situation for real, provided it were possible that the situation could exist, science fiction and all. But uh, I couldn't see myself committing genocide. I mean, if this is really the last Rachni out there, then I would be exterminating their entire race by pushing that button and spilling the acid in there and it's just, you know, 
Kind of a distasteful concept, don't you think? Okay. Just gotta head back this way and get on the, the train and go back to the Normandy and we will have our debriefing and our little session with the council and that will be the end of this episode. What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the Commander resign when I wasn't looking? We're all on the same team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. Sorry, Commander. This is a tough mission. We're all on edge. Everyone go get some rest. Crew, dismissed. Novaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch it through to the Council? Patch them through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rachni on Novaria? And then release the Queen. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations until they overrun the galaxy? Three? No. Four. <laughs> This is no joke, Commander. The Rachni were one of the greatest threats the galaxy ever faced. This queen is different. She understands why her kind had to be wiped out last time around. I hope you're right, Shepard. Our children's children will pay the price if you're not. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. <laughs>